Good morning, traders. It is 5.46 a.m., May 9th, 2016. Happy Monday, everybody. It's a, it's a great day, Monday morning. So we're looking at the SPY, doing a pre-market prep here. And Friday, we had the jobs number at 8.30 in the morning. It was a disappointment. The market immediately sold off. And it, the market dropped below the 204 level, and uh, but rallied after the initial drop, rallied into the open, and basically rallied throughout the day until, uh, and then kind of held steady to end the day on uh, with a nice big green candle, uh, closed at 205.72. So what this tells us is that 200, 204 is significant support for the spy. And uh, we'll be looking at this 207 area to see if that acts as resistance from here. But it, all, it looks like this nice green bar here could act, uh, could start a rally in the SPY, which could take us. The question is, where is it going to take us? Are we? Is it just going to be uh, go up to 207 and then stall and kind of uh, range trade, or is it going to go up uh, all the way up to maybe? 209, 210, or are we going to make a new high from here? And uh, so, so, and that could determine where we go. If we make a lower high, uh, that obviously could indicate lower prices from here. If we make a higher high, then uh, maybe we want to continue uh, this rally from the February lows that kind of happened. We ha this is kind of the first. Uh, we had a little consolidation period, and now we've got uh, our first little pullback. Or if we just r reverse the screen bar and act like it never happened. There was uh, enough volume. wasn't considerable volume, but enough volume uh, to show, especially for a Friday, to show that the 204 was significant support. It did bounce off the 204 and move higher from here. So we'll see pre-market... Uh, the indices, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ are all up. We'll see how that goes. And gold is selling off here. So if we look at gold, um, so gold had a open pretty high, uh, or opened higher, ran up to test uh, 1300 on, on gold futures. But uh, 23, what, 65 or something. Um, yeah, 23.81. So close, tried to go up to that 124 area and pulled back and closed still higher on the day. But uh, it looks like it's going to ha have another consolidation period. So if we look at... Uh, this area here. Uh, the question is where where is support going to come in? It could come in at this area here at what 12050, 12035, something like this uh, is where support could come into the market. So we could be stuck in this range uh, for a little while, or it could uh, pull back a little bit and then uh, go higher and break through that 1300 barrier. If we look at pre-market, it looks like um, China uh, uh, fell kind of significantly today. So if we look at that the, the last time, China has can have quite an impact on, this, on this, the, our market. So August of last year, we had this kind of crazy pullback that happened very swiftly in a very short number of days and took us down uh, two to 300 points. In this, in the S and P 500, and this had to do with a, a margin, really margin calls. Uh, so as China kind of had uh, this large sell-off, it forced uh, people who were margined in that market to get out of all of their assets, really. And so people were liquida liquidating their positions in the S and P and in the U S. So we had this very quick sell-off. And then it churned, but uh, went higher from there. Then came, and obviously now we're in this kind of range. 
and we're back at the near the top. So if we look at the queues, uh, same kind of situation, had a similar support area here, not surprising, and I pulled back to it, bounced off of it, went higher, and so the question becomes again, where is support, uh, or where is resistance, it could be in this area right here, this uh, 108.37 or uh, 108 in general, 108 uh, could act as resistance if we don't, uh, yeah, so we could go back up and rally there as well. Speaking of the NASDAQ, uh, Apple, one of the largest kind of component here, not doing as well, opened low and rallied a little bit, but still finished lower on the day. Boy, is it in trouble. Yeah, it's hang right hanging right at kind of this uh, major support. So if we look at the weekly here, uh, ma this, ma this is kind of a major moment for Apple as it transitions from being a growth, this ridiculously large uh, company that's continued to have this amazing growth to a, comp a, a large, ridiculously large company that's going to have po probably more average growth in the future without, without um, a major catalyst right now, um, like the iPad or whatever. The Apple Watch isn't going to be that. So, but um, yeah, really embattled. We can, we'll see if it can bounce from here. If not, <laughs> we're, we're, going, we're going lower. Um, I could see it. I can definitely see it bouncing from here, but it really looks. Um, it, it doesn't look healthy right at this moment. Um, we didn't see it's underperforming the market, especially the last three days. So uh, we'll see where it goes. If we look at Facebook, Facebook is leading the charge here to once all new uh, all time highs. Um, digested a little bit the, the earnings gap up and looks like it just wants to go higher so this is uh, probably my favorite of the, the fang uh, Facebook Amazon again same kind of look not quite as nice as Facebook um, but looks like it wants to go higher Google Google's bouncing off of the 200 day so the 200 day acted as support uh, down here, just went down, boop, touched it. Yeah, we get, let me know. yeah, went down, touched it, just briefly bounced it back up. Now here it traded at the 200 day for a little bit, but still it looks like it's bouncing off. So it looks like the 200 day um, provided support again, although uh, it, it uh, there was a battle at the 200 day. So, but again, rallying um, probably will try to come in and, and fill this earnings gap down. So, uh, but I missed Netflix here. So Netflix, um, not as healthy, uh, kind of had this long downturn followed by a rally that took us up just past the halfway point and then earnings kind of went down and, and it, it did rally but it's it does not look strong. It did rally on Friday, does not look that strong. So looking at that, uh, looking at this market, I don't have any trade setups today. Uh, nothing was triggered, uh, which makes sense since the first rallying day off of a pullback. So we could be rallying higher uh, over the next few days. The question is, where do we go from here? Um, looking at my current positions, uh, Goldman Sachs, I was short there. That still looks okay. Uh, MPC oil, we'll see how that goes. U USO is rallying today. It's got a little bit to go before it reaches the halfway point, but uh, God bless, good luck.
good trading.